Now, the next thing that we have going on is going to be the Chinese Fenghua, or Fenghua, uh, something like that, Fenghua uh, gaming GPU that is being released. And essentially, we have a new video of a benchmark demo. We'll kind of go over that. There's not too much information on this, though. So uh, here's the article. It's on Tom's Hardware, and it was posted two days ago. Stuart Randall, an author at TechNode, has shared a video on his personal Twitter account of Inosilicon's Fenghua 1 graphics card up and running. The Fenghua 1 is the first homegrown Chinese GPU, and even though its specifications are public, its performance remains a mystery. Therefore, it's unknown whether it has what it takes to hang with the best graphics card from NVIDIA and AMD. But the video proves the cards are up and running. The demonstration showed the GPU running on the GFX benchmark, specifically the T-Rex scene. Unfortunately, an FPS counter wasn't present during the benchmark run, and we didn't get to see the results screen afterwards. Nevertheless, the footage looked pretty smooth. Then again, GFX Bench is more orientated to mobile devices, so the software isn't the best performance judge for discrete GPUs. Due to the quality of the video, it's also hard to tell whether the GPU Type A or Type B, which is the dual GPU, was on the test system. We're more inclined to the former, but Randall shared a photograph uh, of the latter in a subsequent tweet. You can see the video image in the embedded tweet below. Uh, let me make sure this is muted real quick. And then this is it. This is all. And then they did. The, uh, he started in portrait and then moved to landscape, but it didn't flip the video, which kind of sucks. And then he kind of goes down. Um, this benchmark's not really a, a great benchmark. It's not one that I ever used to test discrete GPUs, and we don't even know what the performance on is. It so like I feel like. Like, honestly, like a cell phone can run that benchmark. So there's not a lot going on there. However, compared to the previous uh, information that we had on this GPU, we do have some new information. The GPU, which likely leverages Imagination Technologies Power VR architecture, is a product of the 12 nanometer manufacturing process. Theoretically, the Type A variant delivers up to five teraflops of FP32 performance, putting it on the same level as the 2060. The Type B, which is the dual GPU version, puts it on par with the RTX 3060. So the big thing that's interesting is that we aren't really sure what memory is in there still. So it's going to be four gigabytes, eight gigabytes, and 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 or GDDR6X. Now that's going to obviously impact the speed. And then as we talked about in previous videos, you can go back and go through them. GDDR6 is soon going to be faster than GDDR6X. So is it going to be the new GDDR6 with the 24 gigabits per second? Or is it going to be the 6X with the 19 gigabits per second? Or is it going to be the GDDR6 with 16 gigabits per second? Either way, like it's kind of hard to d judge performance off of this. Now it does say that the bandwidth is at 304 gigabytes per second, which is 10% less than an RTX 2060. So if we wanted to kind of try to figure out on the type one single GPU variant, what the possible hash rates could be we could just run a percent calculator of that 30 mega hash that we typically see on the RTX 2060 and find that this GPU should be around 27 mega hash a second. The upside to this, of course, is going to be the low power consumption that does look like it could possibly have. So for power consumption, the company has identified a power draw less than 20 watts in desktop applications and less than 50 watts in multi-channel cloud workloads. So if we wanted to like take a look at like power to hash rate, we are looking at a very good possibility here because if we see that 27 mega hash a second, and it's going to be at 50 watts, then you would look at a 0.54. 
So about a half a mega hash, a little over like, uh, let's see, so 0.54 mega hash per watt, which would be a pretty dang good. Most of the time 0.6 to 0.7, somewhere around there is what you're looking at with RTX 3000 series. So there is a possibility for this particular GPU to essentially perform very well uh, from a hash to power uh, ratio. And so that is one thing to keep in mind for this particular, uh, particular GPU. So I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.